covers our nurse. I want to thank, thank Ms. Gonzalez and Sharon for speaking. They did cover some of the things I was going to say, so I don't know the way up. Being a, a nurse for 35 years, I cannot tell you, and I did home health for 10 years, which I worked with a lot of elderly patients who go to their house. And I cannot tell you how many of them I saw die because of the medication. Not because of the diseases they had, because of the medication they were taking, the side effects from the medication, liver failure and kidney failure. You don't have any of that with medical marijuana. I mean, that's already proven. That's, that's why it's legal. It has no side effects. Nobody's ever died from it. It just doesn't happen. So I want to just go over a list. I'm sure a lot of people in here uh, are not somebody that has some of these things. These are all diseases that are currently successfully treated with medical marijuana. Uh, PTSD, got a lot of soldiers with that. Epilepsy, I know that for a fact. I've been experimenting on my pug, who has massive seizures. They're called clusters, you know, 10, 15, 20 a day that lasts four or five days. He can't walk for two days afterwards. She knows, Ken knows. It's just heartbreaking. Well, he had gotten to the maximum dose on his phenobar, or the, the, next, the next thing was to get him to the maximum dose, which he would probably live maybe a year, because it would kill his liver. Okay. So I knew that it worked on children for epilepsy and seizures, so I just, my son got me some engaged, well it's a weaker strength, it's not what they sell in the, they'll be selling the dispensary. Didn't even give it to him every day, I just gave him a big uh, syringe full every time he had a seizure, and after the first month, it broke those seizures up. He no longer has cluster seizures. He may have one or two in a week's time, but it's in, in their grandma, as soon as it's over, it's over and lost all So, I'm sorry. But I'm just saying it works. It worked on him. Uh, Alzheimer's. Definitely works on Alzheimer's. Parkinson's disease. And I know that for a fact because in the 70s, my uh, cousin was the head of Oxford's Clinic in New Orleans. We lived in Louisiana. And he had some rolled up and brought into my grandmother who had terrible Parkinson's disease. She could not even drink a cup of coffee because her hands shook so bad. And it came with directions, you know, two puffs, 30 minutes before your coffee or before you run drink your tea or whatever. And she started doing that immediately, the shaking stopped. She never had that. As long as she had her little puffs, you know, 30 minutes before it worked. It worked. Uh, fibromyalgia, a lot of women have that. Uh, dystonia, which are uh, muscle cramps. I mean, I have them at night. I don't know if any of y'all get them when your toes cramps up and all that. It, it works on that. Well, I hope it works on that. I'm going to get some whenever I get uh, Hepatitis C, diabetes, and the current studies, they are leaning towards the information from these studies that it can actually cure diabetes. And you know, that's rampant, rampant disease that kills lots of people in the United States. Uh, itchy skin, osteoporosis, MRSA, which is a huge problem in Florida if you're elderly or Compromised and you're going to have to go for surgery, you're probably going to get MRSA. And there's no cure for it. But it does help with MRSA. Uh, Huntington disease, which is a hereditary um, disease of the brain, where your brain is deteriorated. Uh, multiple sclerosis, and there's a lot of that. You know. uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, Tourette syndrome, and y'all may not be familiar with that, but we see a lot of that in nursing. HIV, high blood pressure. I don't know how many of y'all have that little bit. Some of y'all do. Uh, or you might have to this meeting. <laughs> uh, sleep apnea, that's a problem. Uh, all GI disorders, any kind of disorder of your intestines, colonitis, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, multiple, uh, it helps with all that. And that's, this, is all, this is all pretty good. Uh, incontinence, I don't think anybody has that problem. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And the reason it, one of the reasons it helps with most of these things is because it's a natural anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. um, they also are leaning towards using it for treatment for childhood lymphoma, all, breast cancer, all kinds of cancers. It, uh, it, it works. And um, I'm going to find an example here for basal cell carcinoma. I have uh, advanced basal cell carcinoma. I'm a survivor of melanoma, but I still have to deal with, with this. Um, this is the result of about five days of conventional of the, of the conventional treatment. I don't know if you can see it good. It, it'll get much worse in the next week. I'm just doing my arms right now. I have to do my legs and my face. I can't do it all at once. It's just too awful. Uh, but the CBD oil will actually cure it. 
this doesn't cure it. This just it just peels it off until it comes back again. Then you have to do this again. And I mean, it's miserable in the summertime. I'm telling you, even riding in the car with the sands. Normally, you'll see me. It might be 95 degrees outside, but I usually have on long sleeves. You know, in the summer, I can't get on the river anymore. You know, it's true. But it would be nice to be able to run into town and get some of that oil, the CBD oil, to, to use on this instead of driving. You know, I can drive to Gainesville, but while I'm over there, I'm going to go to lunch. I'm going to do a little shopping and, you know, like other people. And they'll do the same thing when they come into the Um And the other thing I mentioned, you know, uh, was about revenue. I know we're bankrupt. I guess we're bankrupt, right? Well, it could be. Well, we all have a lot of money. We we're working our way out. And we're having to kind of get grants, you know, get all the pretty stuff done around town and all that. Well, um, I did, did kind of a quick research on the internet, and just the first place that came to, my mind, came to up was in Aurora, Colorado. I know that's a bigger town, but it's not a huge city. Uh, last year, they got $1.5 million in revenue, the city did. For, uh, let's see, what was it for? And revenue and feeds. Now, y'all may know more about that. I didn't have time to read all that. But the town, I don't know how far it works, but the town can get revenue from these things. Why not have them? My God, we are struggling. I mean, you could be building everything you want down the park. You'd have the money to do it. You wouldn't have to worry about a grant if you did it right. You know, and we could all have a meeting to decide what we want to do next and pay for it. You know. Um, instead of, you know, wait for somebody to write their grant, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to bring that up, and I think that y'all should really reconsider, and I don't know if you had a chance to do your research. Oh, and I did email y'all a letter. It's the first time I've ever done that email address thing. Did you get it? Okay. No. Yes. Did you get yeah. out of my response? Huh? No, I hadn't even gotten back home there. I really, I hadn't had a chance, I'm telling well, you that, but I will when I get home. I didn't get it. I sent you one, but it may have gone to an old email. You know, oh, I'll make sure it gets more than that. Because I think it had to or other I did see it, and I actually have reviewed it, and it was very informative. Thank you. Just, just address me. Oh, okay. I right at you? Yes, right. Oh, it's kind of looking out the window. It's kind of looking out there at the river. Well, I, don't go want, I know this is a scary sight, but. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not. Everyone, you're not everyone, not everyone, not I think, I think right. everyone's getting a drift of exactly where you're coming from and your viewpoint. Did I go over my two points? No, you, you, you're doing a great job. Did you Did you have any? No, that was pretty much it because it was between the medical thing, which I'm a nurse. You know, I don't know one single medical person that I'm not. No nurses that are against it. They're all for it. They're tired of seeing people die from the medicine. I mean, this pharmaceutical company is not good to you. I don't take any medicine. You know, except this stuff, and I don't have any choice. But anyway, that's all I had to say. Thank y'all.